Hey, 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 beautiful people. So I'm just going to give you what was given to me uh, just a few moments ago. And I was pushed, coerced. I was moved to send this out to you immediately, if not sooner. So catch the vision for each and every one of you. All of us have been in a position where we thought that we didn't have enough or we had it and we were grievous because we didn't have more. And what I have to tell you today is that, you know, those days are over and you have to take hold of the moment. Um, the scriptures say that the day itself is wicked. And so you as a follower of Christ, you as a believer in all that is good and all that is God, it is well within your right. It is your divine right and your privilege to receive the blessings of the Lord, which make it rich and add no sorrow. And, and riches is not just in terms of financial. It's not just term, in terms of money, but because <clears throat> we fall against um in some way, shape, or form, we form a, a, a face calamity and we face uh, adversity. We find ourselves being um, so kind of outwitted uh, when it comes to this particular area. And so for today, because I felt this so strongly inside of me, um, these were the words that I was given to give to you by way of the Holy Spirit. Um, at first, I it has a caveat and I need th this to be a apply to any video that you've seen before and even going forward on this channel. In order for you to receive any of the things that you come for uh, and to make sure that it is coming from a place of absolute divinity for your favor and all of those that are involved, you must find yourself in a place of wanting to forgive and needing to forgive. And I know some of us have gone through some tremendous trauma, but at the end of the day and at the bottom of it all, even your willingness to to want to forgive is all that is necessary. You can only forgive to the extent that you can with your experience. And that's why we pray over each and every one of these um uh, 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 subliminals that we give you, that you are divinely protected each and every way. It doesn't matter whether it's about money, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, you ought to be uh, cognizant of the fact that you are being prayed for, right? And not prayed on. So first, you have to forgive others to the extent and the, the degree that you can. And for those of you who feel that you haven't forgiven enough, I want to alleviate that pain as well. It is the want and the desire to do the right thing that gets you where you need to be. And the first thing that you would need to say if you do have that thought was, Lord, help my unbelief. Holy Spirit, help my unbelief. Help me and strengthen me to forgive the way you forgive because I cannot do this alone. And you want to know why that gets you more traction? Because when you, wow, and the, <laughs> you hear the sirens coming, right? Because this is an emergency. This is a 911. Something that you need to know is that you cannot make it alone. And when you come with that humility, you are acknowledging that you need the Holy Spirit in order to help you, the angelic Hosts, the Holy Ghost and all uh, who are vying for your greatest good. So therefore you're starting in humility, which is great. Also, you can't be up here, you know, kicking the gates of hell in, <laughs> kicking the, the gates of uh, uh, hell down with your, book, with your good foot, doing all kinds of evil and manner of evil and expect good to come to you. Listen, all of us have fallen short. All of us have made mistakes and you should be remorseful and you should turn from your wicked ways if you are living that life of sin with you and your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you got. Okay, so I want you to recognize that it's not even about you being forgiven. All of this is about humility. And if you've done anything wrong, if you've offended anyone, whether it was deliberately or not, when you begin to repent, when you begin to turn around, in other words, when you begin to show remorse for the things that you have done, you begin knocking doors down in your favor, right? Because they can never be held against you if you have already released yourself from the offense, right? So sin and anything that is out of order and in direct opposition to nature, to the laws of God, to the laws of the universe, it, it, it's going to keep you, uh, it's going to keep you held back if you don't let it go. And if you do not turn around, the scriptures declare, if my people, that's a very distinct thing, 
Not people who just call themselves by your name. It says, if my people who are called by my name. The question is, who called you? Because if you're calling yourself by his name and you're doing something completely different, you're going to take yourself out of the game. I want you to get back in the game and win because it is rigged in your favor when you follow the rules. So understand that it doesn't matter what you have done. You can always turn around. No matter what you have done, you can always repent. When you show remorse, you can get it from the Lord. And you don't have to show it to everybody. You show it to the Lord because the Lord knows your heart. And the word of God is thus and so. He will abundantly pardon you when you confess to him. All right? So, so you don't have to go on national TV or YouTube. <laughs> and tell everybody your business, right? It's a it's a relationship thing between you and the creator of all that is good and all that is tremendously set in your favor. So right now, these are the words that are given to me and I will post them in the description as well. You can copy and paste them and say it in your own voice and, and record it and do what you need to do in order to make it happen. We're going to make you a subliminal as soon as we have the time to do it. But this has to get out today because like I said a couple of weeks ago, sometimes you need to hear the words. Financial peace, money everywhere. You are paid for what's already done, for what you've already done. You are paid just for being you. You are paid ridiculous amounts of money just for being you. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. And some of it, some of it is already here. Roth IRAs, retirement, money that your business, that you worked for, they matched you and you never got. Money you forgot about. Money that is owed to you, it's coming to you, it's coming to you, it's coming to you because money follows and it flows to people that have a purpose for it. Get into a right relationship with money by recognizing and declaring unto it on this day that the money that is owed to you, the money that is coming to you, the money that you look for, the money that's looking after you or looking for you, you want it, you need it, you have it in order to do better, be better, live better. Help others to do the same. It's happening. It's happened. It's here, y'all. It's here. Supernatural blessings and provision. Financial peace. When was the last time you heard those two words put together? But the peace in your finances, the peace that the Lord gives unto you, not as the world gives unto you, give he unto you, that applies to your finances too. So in peace like a river, like an ocean is overtaking your life, it's taking over your life with love and with purpose and with favor. And it is released unto you right now. All you got to do is believe it. All you got to do is receive it. All you got to do is confess it. All you have to do is put your, 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 your vocal signature on top of it by saying, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, universe. Thank you, mother earth. Thank you, universe and all of your resources. Thank you. For the creator of all of it. Just say thank you. There's no need for you to understand it. It's money. You want to really try to understand and figure out what money is. It's a gift. Just say thank you. Don't try to figure it out. Just receive it and say thank you. You can say thank you. And I'm going to tell you how you become ready to get the money. You re become ready when you stop when you stop trying to be the victim. When you stop complaining about what somebody did to you. When you forgive them. When you humble yourself and say, it's okay. Because my money is deliberately attached to my ability to forgive. My ability to turn around. My ability to repent. My ability to confess. My ability. And that's what I do today. And His grace is sufficient until the day of the coming of the Lord. And until he comes, I'm here to get my Jesus money because I am victorious. We are winners through Christ who loved us. Not just ahead. We are not just ahead. We are light years ahead of our enemy. We are light years ahead of co our competition. We are light years ahead of the enemy that try to cut us down and cut us off. Oh, it is done. 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 It is accomplished. It is handled. You are right to say what had happened was. Why? Because it already has happened and you don't even realize it. Say congratulations. You need to look in the mirror and say, you need to say congratulations to me. You want to know why? Because it's time for you to step in it.
Step in the glory. Step in the financial peace. Step in the peace that goes beyond all the understanding. Step into the power that can never be taken away, but only relinquished by your mouth and by the way that you think and by the way that you carry yourself. Step up your game because you have just been upgraded. Step up your approach. Step, step, step up, 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 and you don't stop. Sir, you have arrived. Ma'am, you have arrived. Whoever, whatever, wherever you are or wherever you be, be right there in your abundance. What is your name again? Say your name with your new title in front of it. I'll just call you abundance. I call in for you, for I, for all of us who believe, who dare to believe Jesus money, shopping money, spending money, money to give, money to loan, money to grow. Don't ask for money. They tell us never ask God for money. Why? Because he says money answers. Call for it. Call it out from the north and the east and the west. Call out what is divinely yours, what is by divine right already yours. And the reason why you want it is because you already received it on the other side and it's now for it to be made manifest. You are the prophet center. You are the beginning and you are the end of your financial prowess. You are an excellent money manager and that's why it's coming to you right now. You ain't got to believe it. It's already true. For school, that's what the money is for. For the house, that's what the money is for. For new shoes, that's what the money is for. It's for something. My money comes to me because it has an assignment. All expenses paid, circulating money, mermaid money. You know how 50 said mermaid money, crazy money, money that don't make sense. Too much money to count and it is so. Amen, amen, amen. I told you it wasn't going to be, you don't have to be long to be strong. You don't have to be long to be strong. You better act like you know that everything that I have said to you, it is true. And in other words, you don't even have to believe it in order for it to be true. But it will transform your whole life if you do. I'm here giving you a truth. And the truth of the matter is everything you need, you already have. I'll leave you with the words of Wonder Woman herself. When evil itself asked her, do you really think you deserve to be? Do you know what her response was? It is a not about deserve. It is about, I believe. Then she sent him to his destruction. Do ye likewise. You've got it in you, Linda. You've got it in you, Diana. You got it in you, Dorothy. It's already happened. Everything you need, just like Drake said, I got everything. I got everything. I made so much money, I don't even know how much I made, but it's a lot. <clears throat> Never mind what I got. Hey, I got it. I got it. I got it. The end. Boop. <laughs>